So first we're gonna start on the close guard here, okay, as a warm up, okay? Close guard, very basic, okay? I'll put his hand on the floor, like this, okay? So I'm here, put his hand on the floor, control his wrist, all right? Then I'll sit up, then I'll grab my own wrist, like this. When I got here, you see that I start grabbing like this as a C grip, but once I grab him like this, I change my thumb here, okay? So I don't like to keep like this because I feel uh, I hurt my thumb or my hands, you know? So I like to do this, okay? So the first grip is here. The second grip is here as well, okay? Don't grab like this, okay? You're always gonna struggle. Or if you do any strength here to the fin, you'll feel that you can hurt your, your thumb or your wrist, okay? I like like this. We call it gorilla grip, okay? And once I got here, my goal is to escape the hips to the side of his arm. Okay, so I'll face this way, here. I'll keep this leg up. Okay, close the guard, and then I'll bring his hand behind his back. Okay, so again, we go. One, two, okay. So you see that I face to him to finish the keyboard. Now if I wanna finish, I'll just bring his hand towards his head, and then he'll tap, okay. If your opponent stretch the arm, stiff your arm straight like this, Okay, so it's not, you're not gonna uh, finish the Kimura here, okay? You must use the forearm here, right on his elbow, okay? To bend his arm, okay? So you're gonna push this down, like push the wrist down, and pull the elbow towards your chest, okay? Stiff your arm, so really hard, I go like this, okay? And then I'll finish it. All right, so it's very important to keep the arm bent, okay? So when you skate the hips here, Okay, as soon as you escape the hips, you can escape the hips. Using your foot on the floor, or just like shifting, like you remove your hips like this, okay? Whatever you feel more comfortable, okay? Stiffen the arm, if you stiffen the arm, so I go here, and then finish. Okay, be careful to not hurt your, your partner, okay? So we're gonna work just like this. We're not gonna do like, ah, oh, here, and then, ah, oh, here. We're gonna learn how to finish, okay? So I got here. Bring his hand behind his back. That's the first thing I do. Okay, because just doing that uh, will help me to finish him easier. And also it's harder for him to defend, okay? So now I start escaping the hips. You can either post your foot on the floor to escape the hips, or you just like move your body like this, okay? Now look, I'm facing to him, try to stiff your arm. He's gonna stiff his arm. I'm gonna bring my forearm close to my chest. Touching his triceps on my chest, like this. I bring his hand towards his, his back. Now, I slide his head right on his uh, vertebra here, okay, towards his head. And then he'll tap, okay? So some people, they'll tap faster. Some people um, take longer to tap, okay? Let's start with this one first, okay? So each person will drill for a minute and a half. Let's go, one, two, three. So I would say that it's not hard for you to, to get the Kimura here, right? So many times you're here and make sure you sit up on your elbow so then you can reach, okay? And always uh, the arm that goes on top goes around this part of his arm, okay? You cannot go and have his elbow outside, okay? It needs to be here, right? So you must like go in your elbow here and get the arm, okay? now. Uh, many times you get here, but the problem is how to finish. Because your opponent is start like grabbing something. He either gonna grab your pants, or he's gonna grab. He's gonna sink his hand between his inside his leg, like grab inside, your leg, like post his leg up, like this, and then put the hand inside like this. So now you know. So this happens a lot. Or sometimes even uh, I get the kimura and he's like body lock me. So when I got here, like grab your hands together. No, like uh, right on my lower back. Yeah, like this. You know, he grabs his hips together like this. And then now, like, it's hard for you to finish here. Okay. So those are the scenarios that uh, we have after we set up the Kimura. Okay. So, of course, if he's not grabbing anything, it's so easy for you to go and finish. Okay. But you just got to uh, find a way to break his grips. Okay. For example. When I got here, like, do like what you're gonna do to the finish. He's gonna do this. 
right? I'm gonna use this leg here to push his leg away and bring his arm, his elbow this way. Okay, so I push here and I bring this way. Now, I finish the Kimura, okay? Again, so if I'm here, he grabs the leg, okay? I just go close to his hand, okay, with my leg. Now I'm gonna bring his elbow up. Try to bring your leg back again. There, look, now I start. Try to stick your arm right now. He's gonna try to sit down. Stick more on my hips. Make sure when you stick the hips turn around. Notice this is really important when you're here, okay? Uh, it's very basic, right? It's a basic technique, but a lot of times we, we struggle and finish our, or even like believe in a technique because it's basic, but it's very, really, very, very, very strong. You just gotta know how to, to set up, how to move your body in order to finish your opponent. So grab there, he got there, I break his grip. Now look, if I try to do the Kimura from here, I can't, stiffen your arm, it's really hard. So what am I gonna do? I put his shoulder on the mat. You see the shoulder here? That's why I escape my hips. I want this shoulder on the mat. Look, my triceps is on the mat here. Look at the difference right now. Now probably he's gonna roll to escape. Like roll, sometimes you're putting, gonna roll like this. Boom, and then you're gonna end up on a nice mount position, right? And from here when you mount, just go more on the right? Right now in your mouth, you keep the kimura here, what you can do? You trap your legs like that, and then you, ch I don't go for a kimura here, because the floor is like, not help me to bring his arm behind his back. I stretch his arm straight, I turn his thumb up, and I go for like a arm bar. Okay, it's just like an arm bar, he an arm bar. And then finish my opponent, okay? Oh, uh, he's not tapping the arm bar, he's really flexible, then I start changing for something else. I try to go for an arm bar or something like that, okay, like regular arm bar. But you notice that how important it is to escape the hips so you can put his shoulder on the mat so you have a leverage to bring the, to finish the Kimura, okay? So I got here. Now, we learn, to, we learn when he grabs his leg, grab, it, grab it like, like this, okay? But also he can grab my belt or grab his own belt. Grab your own belt, keep your knee on the floor. Keep your knee on the floor, Eddie. Yeah, like this, sometimes he grab his own belt. Same thing, I use my leg to push his hand to one side, okay, breaking his grip and pulling the elbow to the other direction. Like this, I do like little shakes, like pop, 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 until I break the grip. Of course, stay strong. If I just go like this, oh, it's not gonna work, okay? It's like, oh, just one direction. And I make the noise because <laughs> it's important to know like the, the tension of uh, the pressure you're doing here. Like this, oh, just like a constant pressure. He can resist. But when you go like, oh, <laughs> you know, you break his grip. So you go tension, release tension, release tension. It's like, it's like cutting, you know, his grip. Okay? So if you, if you feel your opponent is grabbing the pants, uh, the, the belt, that's how you're gonna break his grip. Tension, release tension, release tension, release tension. So you always like, you shake, shake, shake until you break the grip. Okay, but always tension, release tension, tension, and then you shake. And when you shake, he, he doesn't know how to keep with the pace of your tension. And you end up breaking the grip, okay? Uh, when he grabbed my, my body here, when I sit, grab my, my, my body, yeah, like this. If that happens, what I like to do, I like to start putting my hips over his head. And I start rubbing, I don't know, like rubbing is the right, correct word to say. Like I start like, what, how do you call this? Like, the net. Yeah? Chris, how do I call this? Uh, grinding. Huh? Grinding? Yeah, grinding over his hand. Cause you're gonna start, he's gonna start doing this with his hand when you start moving your butt over his head. And then he's gonna break the grip, okay? So, you see that guy here, a hug? Yeah, he's gonna hug him like this. Then I find a space to sit. Okay, keep, keep the grip, keep the grip. Find a space to sit, now I start shaking. Look, hurts his head. <laughs> hurts my head. And now, I got here, look. Now, now is the second step. He's gonna find somewhere, like some grip, yeah. Now I break here. 
Skateboard your shoulder on the mat. Try to sleep your arm. Bend his arm. Okay? And then finish it. Worst case scenario, when he feels that the Kimura is really tight, he's gonna try to roll. So be ready to mount on your opponent, okay, if you roll. And don't open the guard when he rolls, okay? Keep the guard closed because then he's gonna, he gonna bring you on top of him okay, when you keep the guard closed. So you have these three situations. Grabbing the hand here to the fin, you break the grip. Grabbing the, own, the belt, you tension, release tension, release tension until you break the grip, okay? Don't forget anything, put the shoulder on the mat, okay? And the other one is like when he hugs your, your back, when you get the Kimura, as soon as you sit up. And then you sit on his hand and start grinding, freaking like over his hand, so he's gonna break the grip, he's gonna feel pain, and then he's gonna break the grip. Okay, um, and sometimes when you when you go for this, just this, just doing this, he's a, he hugs you, hugs me, like this. You always can set up the kimura here, always. You always have this space here, okay? And that's when I start using uh, the sitting. Or I use my lower back here, just like this, uh, and you break it. So you gotta feel that you put the weight on his hand and move like this, okay? So he feels. That he can't control. You know when somebody shake your hand and they just uh, joke with you, they squeeze your hand like right here and hurt you like, oh, I give up, I give up, tap, tap. I like, say, say my name, who's the boss? Uh, I do that all the time with the kids. <laughs> just kidding. But it's kind of like that. <laughs> it's kind of like that, right? You want to like squeeze the hand like this. It's very painful and it's hard to keep the grip, okay? Let's work on that. One, two, three. We gotta set up the Kimura in all the situations we did before, right? It's pretty basic, like we got here or like sitting up, getting here, okay? Sometimes you can even, like, if you fall straight up like that, you can just, like, sit up like this, he's gonna hug you. And then you start, you see, looking for the Kimura. So just put your hand inside, okay? And then start, like, trying to grab your hands together, like your wrist, and then start applying the Kimura. But sometimes it's really hard to do, like, from here. But when you sit up and hug him, like he probably gonna grab your waist. And that's when you, you set up the Kimura, okay? So right now we are here, okay? We already broke his grip. And he's sticking his arm really hard. We're escaping the hips like this. It's just like a very simple technique. I'm trying to bring his hand this way, right? Towards his back. And he's stronger than me. He's really strong, go. Like, I can't, right? So I just bring here, look. I press my head on this side. Okay, and then I hug him. With this hand, I'll hug over his shoulder. And I put my head, my face, right on top of his triceps. Try to bring your hand back, your arm back. He's gonna probably try to stand up, try to posture up. Exactly, so he's gonna be on this situation, okay? There'll be two things we can do, okay? One is if his head is low, keep your head low, like this. If his head is low, and this is like when I go really fast, okay? I was looking for his back, turn around, okay? So he reaches the pain, like when I got here, okay? His head is low. When I go for his back, look, I don't do this. I don't put this leg on the floor and try to bring this leg inside, and then I try to go for the back, okay? Because then I'll give too much space, right? So I keep squeezing this leg up, on, uh, squeezing his leg down, sorry, towards his lower back, okay? Curling my leg here. And now to make this hook, what I like to do, I put my foot, my, the, the entire uh, side of my leg on the floor and I'll sweep his knee like this. When I sweep, I stretch his hook. Look, the leg will be between his legs. Now it's easy for me to climb to his back. So I flat his belly on the floor. So now I'm on his back. This hook here may go inside or not, okay? Uh, of course, if you want to score the four points, with the hooks in, you need the hooks inside. Uh, you don't need to like, ah, oh, try to lift or get the hook in. Because if his belly is on the floor, it's already four points for you. And if his belly go off the mat, no, uh, just start it. Like this, and you put like the, the hooks in, it's four more points, it's like eight <coughs> points. Okay, so in the tournament. So they call uh, this, uh, a back mount is a back mount first and then plus the four points for the hooks. Okay? So again, so when you go to the back, I want to 
I want to sweep this leg here. Keep this leg here. Because this leg is going to help me to come up. So I just sweep and then come up. Okay? Again. So I'll do this angle here. I'll grab the kimura. He's going to start like stiffing his arm really hard. I skip my hips, press my leg here, and then I go here. So he keeping his head low. So I got here with my leg on the floor. Oh, professor, what about you step over your leg? That's what I want because that would be my first hook. You know, and then I'll start climbing to his back and get his back, right? But if you don't step over your, your leg, you just sweep here. And I really want to put his, uh, I want to put his uh, belly on the floor like this. And then I can climb up, okay? And I like when I'm on the back, you see my forearm here, controlling his triceps on this side, and I control the triceps on this side as well. Okay, try to turtle. It's really hard for me to turtle, okay? He turtles because his elbow goes close to his body, you see? Then he can elevate his chest. Okay, go back. But if I keep his biceps touching his face the whole time here, okay? I, I link my hands together, okay? And look, this, this foot is scooping under the thigh on the side. Turn around. Turn around to one. This is like one position that I really like. Because this leg is inside, right? If you also put on the half guard, which side is going to turn? This way, turn this way. Look, he's going to put on the half guard. You see that? Go back. So to not let my opponent do that, I scoop my, my foot here. Okay? And the other foot outside as well there. So I scoop both foot under his thigh and keep his, uh, controlling his thigh so he would never put on the half guard, okay? Don't keep your foot in between his legs. Focusing, scooping the thigh that the hook is in, okay? Here, try to turn towards me. Try to put on the half guard. Look, try to put my leg between your legs. You can't, I control. In the meantime, I like to hold here, look. Here, I'm still controlling both arms and I start grinding to his neck, grabbing the collar here. Once I grab the collar then, I start applying the choke, okay? Because if his arm is here, how is he gonna defend his neck? Look, his hand is so far for his neck. But if he does this, then he can defend. So you keep him flat on the floor like that. And that's pressure. Okay, we call it like a black belt pressure, right? A lot of times people, they take their back, they don't think about all these things. Okay, so you gotta take the back and start figuring out ways to make your opponent not move really fast. Okay, like I, I always say that, when I'm on top, when I'm controlling the position, I gotta make my opponent feel like he's in a quicksand. You know, you, you get in the quicksand, you're just like, more you move, harder for you to move. More you try to move, harder for you to move. So you're just like, uh, okay? Again, so, you got here, one, he's stiff in the arm, escape my hip, duck under, control, sweep, and then come up. Underhook both arms, scoop right there. Try turn and put in the half guard, try. Now look, the lever here, try turn to me. In the meantime, look, I start grabbing his neck. Once I grab the neck, And then I can start applying a nice choke, okay? Or you can go for arm bar there too, there's a lot of variations. Okay, then I told you, I, 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 I taught you guys about when he's keeping his head low, right? But a lot of times your opponent tries to stand up and it'll be harder for you to take his back, okay? So when I got here, he's stiff in the arm, Make sure you escape the hips. Don't try to go through here. Okay, make sure you face him first, then you go here. Now I'm hugging him here, and my opponent stand up like this. So like, posture up, posture up, sit up. No, 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 go back. Just uh, sit on your heel and try to posture up, like try to stand up, just your body. Yeah, like this. Okay, because he knows I can go to his back. But now I'm too far for his back, but I still controlling his arm here. Then with the hand that I was holding the biceps, I go in between his legs, and then I sweep him this way, okay? I keep squeezing his triceps here. 
the goal is to squeeze in a way here that he's not allowed to bring his elbow this side. You don't let him go this way. Okay, so he's squeezing a, you know, we try to bring your elbow outside. Now, with this leg, you're gonna hit his armpit. Okay, and this one here is swing under. So it's gonna be like this. You can swing like that. Your goal is to try to put his head on the floor to this side here. And then you're gonna mount to him. Okay? Very basic, easy and simple. Okay, again. So I'm here, I'm attacking the Kimura. He's stiff in the arm, escape my hips. I grab him, so he's posture up, posture up. I squeeze him. I can underhook here first. See, try to squeeze, try to stand up. Now I look, underhook his leg. And then I start. Wow. So when you go with your hand under his leg, try to scoop all the way, okay? Try to bring your, your biceps close to his thigh. Don't, don't go just with your hand. Try to like make a hook and then you're gonna be really strong, okay? Remember, the goal to sweep is to bring his head to the floor, okay? Yeah. So I'm here, stiff in the arm, skip, I got here. You know, in the fight, man, uh, when I got here, and stiff in the arm, and I do this, during the fight, if my opponent allow me to do that, look what I do, I do this, one, Two, and then I start already attacking the back right away. I'm just gonna miss the back here. I'm just gonna miss the back if I, if I stop here. Okay, that's when he's gonna start standing up like this, posture up, sit in your heel. Yeah, he's gonna start sitting like that. Because he wants to pull this arm out. Now look, keep the control, underhook his leg, okay? And now bring his head this way, here, to sweep, okay? It's not only about going to the side here, because if his head doesn't go this way, you're not gonna sweep, okay? So you can escape the hips and, and then mount. When I got mount, I go here. Now I'm in a perfect position to grab his wrist and start attacking his back or going for the neck, whatever you like. You guys have any questions? That's the techniques from today, okay? We're gonna do this. You can, uh, I'll give you guys four minutes each person. You drill three times the first one, three times the second, and then go over and over until your four, four minutes is over and then switch. Okay, top to bottom, all right? Let's go one, two, three.